so what we are like a join is used to uh what it's going to do is like uh, for example if, if we have list of values or tuple of values like that it's going to join all of them together or else if I, if you want to insert some character or some any special character uh, after each letter in a string you we can use join so mostly it's going to return a concatenated string for us okay so just i will uh, for your convenience i added the uh, code in document itself uh, so that you guys whenever uh, <clears throat> you are going to check this document you can check the code and you can execute that okay See what I did here, I'm taking one string that is nothing but Python. And what I am doing here, I want to insert hash after each character in the string. Okay. So if we run this, we can understand, okay, how exactly it's going to work for us. See, after each character, you can see that hash p hash y hash t hash so what is the thing so just i want to insert okay some special character or or if i has a list of values for example see this is uh, actually tuple i will uh, explain you about this later So here I have a list of values, okay. So, but what I want here, I want to merge all. Means I want to concatenate all together and just I want to specify space in between. Means I'm just converting this whole list of like a list of values to a sentence. That is nothing but Python is easy to learn. And I'm just separating each string with space. Okay, in such cases we can go with join see python is easy to learn so the like join is going to convert a list of values to a string okay concatenated string okay or else you can take list of values or else you can take a single string and uh, in that uh, if you want to specify some special character of a uh, special character of after each character there also you can go with the join okay then I'll just it's going to return as L just justified like a left justified string. Okay, so here what we need to do is uh, just I want okay uh, some space or uh, this now uh, this number like how to say this number of spaces like ten spaces or twenty spaces like that. If we want, we can go with L just. Okay, just I will show you how it's going to work. See, after that here I specify I used L just and after this uh, string I want to specify 20 spaces and then I need to print this uh, data. The quantity is, uh, is my favorite fruit. But between that uh, string and between this uh, sentence I need uh, 20 spaces. So for that we can use L just. Okay. So that it's going to take uh, 20 spaces after the string. But if we use R just, okay, R just is also one more function first thing. It's going to take space before banana. See, before the string, it's going to take C. Here you can see 20 spaces, then it's going to concat. What it is, it is R just. R just is going to take space between the a string. L just is going to take a space after the string. You can specify how many spaces you want like 10 if i give 10 it's going to take just uh, 10 spaces that's up to us okay so it just if you use l just it's going to left justified means after the string it's going to take spaces if you are, are just it's going to take spaces before 
uh, the string. Okay, that is add just, write just fight. Okay, means a right just fed means it's going to take spaces between the string. Left just fed, uh, L just left just fed means it's going to take spaces after the string. Okay. This is L just. Then a lower. So lower, this function is used to convert the string to lower case. Okay. See here, we can use lower case, I mean lower function. On what I have here, I just convert them all to caps. Okay. So if we execute, it's going to return as all in lower case because we used lower method here. Okay, that is the lower functionality. An L strip. See, L just is used to um, left just fed means it's going to add the uh, the length, like a spaces or whatever it be that specified by you. But L strip is there. Means in L just you are going to see the spaces, but L strip we use it to remove the spaces on left side of the string. Okay, so. I will just show you how it's going to work. Just remember L just and L strip. L just is going to add the spaces. L strip is going to remove the spaces. Okay. So what I did here before banana, I took the spaces. So this before banana, some spaces are there, right? So this L strip going to remove that spaces. See. Of all fruits, banana is my favorite. Okay. So uh, for your convenient, I will just omit the code before this. So before removing spaces, I will print once and after uh, removing spaces, I will print. Okay, so that you can understand. See. First, here I have spaces. Whenever I, without removing, without using the L strip, whenever I printed that string, there were some spaces on left side of the string. Okay. But whenever I used L strip, it's going to remove the spaces. Okay. It's going to remove the spaces before the string. Okay. So here uh, is my favorite. fruit same i will can get here so that you can understand bit see here uh, you have spaces on left side and right side as well but uh, whenever you used l strip the left side spaces are removed okay but if you use r strip it's going to remove the spaces right side of the string means this river the spaces now what happened the left side spaces are there but here uh, the right side spaces removed when you used r strip okay it's going to remove the spaces on right side of the string l strip is used to remove the spaces on uh, left side if you want to remove the spaces overally you can use strip See, it's going to remove overall spaces. Banana is my favorite. It's, if you want to remove spaces overall, you can use strip. If you want to remove the spaces before the string, means left side of the string, you can use L strip. If you want to remove the spaces on right side of the string, you can use R strip. Okay. And then make trans. So make trans is nothing but just to replace one character with some other characters. In those cases, we can use make trans, okay? That's going to convert the occurrences of the character whenever it occurred in the string, that's going to replace that with the strings that's specified by you. So here, what I did, I took one uh, string here that is hello Sam. I want to replace S with P. 
the two capital s with capital p so wherever the capital s occurs in this string it's going to replace that with p okay that is make trans see hello so we can uh, print the both so that you can understand the difference print txt see before that sam whenever i use make trans it's replacing s with p if you want to replace l with some other characters that's up to you if i want to replace that with y see wherever uh, l occurs it's going to replace that with y okay that you need to specify this is the old character that you want to replace and this will be the new characters that you want like in place of old character okay two parameters is going to take one is a old character and one is a new character that you want to replace with okay that is make trans okay and partition next method is partition so here partition going to give you list of three values list of exactly three okay partition what it's going to do is it's going to uh, split based on the uh, string or substring that given by you as a parameter for this partition so what i did here i passed bananas so what it's going to do is it's going to take okay all the string before that match means before that bananas as a value like a separate string and the matched value as a separate string and the string after the matched value as a separate string total three values it's going to print okay we'll show you how this partition going to work for us and what i'm going here i used banana like i passed banana as a parameter so what it's going to do it's going to take i could eat as a string bananas as a string all the as a string total it's going to uh, split this string into three values it means three strings okay this is partition so see i could eat separate string banana separate string all the list of values you got here three values it's exactly partition going to split a string into three based uh, like one is before the match one is exactly the match and the another one is the string after the match so totally three values okay that is partition and replace okay just now you we saw make trans right so the same they are with the replace it will work but uh, here we can uh, replace the substrings as well okay I, here i have bananas but i want to replace bananas with apple okay bananas apples first if you print it see before replace i have bananas but when i used uh, replace for replacing bananas with apples the bananas is replaced with apples that is the purpose of replace we can replace the characters or substrings that we want okay that is replace ha huh, yeah we already saw our or find right our find our index what find it's going to return it's going to uh, get like uh, first occurrence uh, it's going to return first occurrence of the character means that index it's going to return as if that uh, character is not there it's going to return minus 1 okay it's uh, normally if we use find it's going to give first occurrence means i will show you manasa okay in that you can uh, see three as if you use uh, find here find of a i want to um, find where is character a okay it's going to return one because it's going to take only first occurrence means nothing but least index 
okay i have a in one position and then third position and then fifth position but if whenever i use find it's returning only one means least index it's going to return if there are multiple uh, characters in that string it's going to return least means first occurrence if you use are found or find it's going to return you highest frequency means five it will return you five means how you can say if you use find it's going to take from left if you are if you use are find it's going to take from right and basically it's going to return you highest frequency means highest index and if you use find it's going to give you the least index value okay that is find and r find same r find if you give any character that doesn't exist in uh, r find it's going to return minus one see minus one but that is a just reference find it's going to take from left to right and it's going to return you least index value if you use r find it's going to take from right and it's going to give you highest index value that is a difference between uh, find and r find same r index also same it's going to uh, return highest frequent highest index value but if you give the character that doesn't exist in the string it's going to return you value error okay that is the difference right we discussed between find and the index okay same here or just we discussed and uh, one more is our partition okay let's see our partition Okay, it's fine. It's going to work in the same as a partition. But if I have two bananas, I could eat bananas all day. Because bananas are healthy. Okay, what a H E L T H O E. So what I did here, I could eat bananas all day because bananas are healthy. Something. But whenever you used R part, if you use normal partition, okay, it's going to take I could eat as a one string, bananas as a one string, remaining all as a one string. That is partition. Okay, I could eat bananas all day because bananas are healthy. But if you use our partition, please try to understand the difference. Print T. So what if you use our partition, what it's going to do is, for it will do that from right means or healthy will become one string bananas as one string remaining all this as one string see first one is for uh, partition normal partition what it did i could eat bananas all day so three but when you use odd partition you can see the difference it's going to match from right so on right i have these bananas right so that as one string rem uh, like after that as one string remaining all as one string that is difference between partition and all partition if uh, that's why i just merge both in one program itself so partition it's going to do from left but whenever you use art partition it's going to do from right okay Uh, <clears throat> our, our split uh, or split I, I need to tell you i will uh, tell when we discuss split and our strip we already discussed uh, our strip when we are going to use to remove the spaces of like uh, right side of the string to remove the spaces right side of the string we are going to use our strip but uh, we saw join 
okay we saw join but i want to split it python okay i am python and i want to split this as a list of values based on space because i have space here right based on space i want to split this string what it's going what we can do print s dot split see i am python split by default it's going to take the separator as space but in between if i use comma and i want to split the string based on comma i need to specify the delimiter as comma for the split function it will work like this okay that is a split opposite to join and if you use uh, like uh, or split it's going to do that uh, split from right okay based on the matched found it's going to split okay just from right uh, from right it's going to do that mostly we use split only not or split but just the functions are there for string just we need to know okay then split lines okay for example <clears throat> if i specified n okay slash n we use it to uh, we normally we use slash n to specify new line okay we already like you the guys know that uh, slash n we used for a new line so if i use uh, if i want to uh, split a string based on the lines like based on the new lines for new line what i used here slash n i used okay and after i i used slash and after i am i am i used it slash and so and here instead of split i used a split lines here you no need to pass any parameter it's going to based on the new line character it's going to split each as a separate string and it's going to return you list of values okay that is split lines means based on the new line character it's going to split the string okay that is split lines and we saw ends with right where why we use ends with just to uh, specify like we just to check whether the particular string ends with the particular substring or particular character okay here i have python okay i am just checking whether my string starts with if my string starts with p y r p whatever you want you can specify if that string starts with the, uh, the character or the substring specified by you it's going to return true but if the string is not starts with uh, the value like value that the character that specified by you it's going to return you false because my string is not going to starts with the y right if my string is going to starts with p that's why it's it will return false okay and then step we already discussed why we are using it's way it is used to remove the spaces okay and then swap case okay <clears throat> swap case is just used to convert the if the t is in upper case it's going to convert that to lower case and if it the t is in lower case it's going to convert that to upper case <clears throat> so in my thing p is capital and then y is uh, small i took but if i use swap case it's going to convert all uh, upper case characters to lower case and all lower case characters to upper case see now p become uh, small but y become capital so it's going to swap the case okay if it is in upper case it's going to convert that to lower if that is in lower case it's going to convert that to upper that is swap swap case and we discussed the uh, transactions right like um, what it is <clears throat> make trans right and the same way we can use translate here okay translate but here we are going to use some ascii characters with ascii characters we can uh, uh, change the character but we don't we won't use much but just i will show you the code and for this translate we need to pass a <clears throat> uh, dictionary okay 
and in make trans we are going to pass a tuple but here we need to pass dictionary what i did so this 83 in ascii characters is 83 is nothing but s and this 80 is nothing but p okay in ascii characters you need to know okay what are the ascii characters hello c now just i replaced s with p here what i did i declared one dictionary and in that i have i once we come to dictionary topic i will explain what is a format for dictionary and all it's going to take key value page so this is 83 83 for s and 80 for p i want to replace all s occurrences to p so with ascii quotes we can do this okay that is a translate we won't use much this translate and this upper is used to convert all characters from lower case to upper python and uh, just i will use upper so it's going to convert all uh, characters to upper case see python even if you already have uh, upper case it, that will be like that only it won't change python itself okay that is upper and z fill okay if you want to fill zeros so there you can use z fill z fill Mm, wait, it's not working. So here, print as Python. It's well, normally we use this for this to fill zeros. Okay. In in place of string, if I want zeros, we can use this jet fill. But don't know why it's not working. Return a copy of the string padded with string zeros. It's need to work, but it's not working. But we won't use this jet fill. Mostly just uh, remember whatever the things we are going to use. Upper okay lower swap case um, case fold only mostly these methods like these methods we are going to use and this title is there right i forgot to explain you this <laughs> title what is uh, what is normally uh, the syntax for title uh, like all the cap words if i have multiple words in a string in that word first letter should be capital okay that is right actually we call that as title if you run this see in first word okay pi become capital and in second word also pi become capital that is when whenever you use title it's going to convert the string to title as a title means it's going to follow the rules for title okay and remaining if you have any some other characters as capital in that words it's going to convert that to lower except the first letter that is title okay 